Hello, this is Chris Rowland for bestwindowsmobileapps.com. This is the first part of a two-part review of Resco Explorer 2010. I'm splitting up it up into two because there's actually quite a lot that you get for your $17.97. The um, first thing that I'm going to show you, it, which you can see in front of you right now, is this Today Screen plugin. Um, it's entirely customizable. Um, it's based upon all these different panels. Uh, on the top one, you have information on your network, date, time, alarms, stuff like that. Um, on the second one, you have battery, RAM, device storage, memory card storage, and then a link to the task manager. So each one of these shows you information, like my battery is currently at 100% because I just charged it, telling me how much RAM I've got free, which is 83 megabytes. Uh, 176 megabytes of of uh, ROM free and 1.89 gig free on my 8 gigabyte memory card. Uh, it even has little kind of indicators underneath showing you how much. Um, on the next row down, it's got phone and you can turn it off and on. Um, then there's Bluetooth, turning it on and off in settings, and the same for Wi-Fi. Um, when you click on any of these up here to do with the RAM, ROM, etc., um, it'll bring up settings like uh, battery, it'll bring up backlight information. Um, I'll, you can open up the folder, which would bring up the root of your um, the file system on your phone or the SD card. It'll bring up the root folder of that. Uh, and then the rest of this, really, is just... Uh, whatever you choose to add. Oh, actually, that one there is to lock your device, like so. Um, so, uh, yeah, the rest of these. Um, that is the Resco Explorer itself, but I'm not going to open that up until the next um, part of this review. But that is um, automatically on this home screen when you first load it up. Uh, this next row, I've put on a whole bunch of other Resco apps, and as well as those two there. Um, and then you can you can choose to add or remove any of those, so you can fill up as much space as you like, um, and change, remove, or move around any of the items on those panels. So to edit, you just simply hold down, um, and you can choose how many items are on each row. So the less there are, obviously, the larger the icons can be. Um, I'm keeping it on five because you get to keep more on, and because of the size of the screen it's and the high resolution, um, they're still very finger-friendly buttons. So you can hide the time bar, which will remove that top one. If I hold down and do that again, show the time bar, it'll come back. You can also do the same for the items, so that will remove them. Show item bar. And then the last, uh, last option is to customise. Um, and it will just bring up these plus and minus icons uh, and you can just simply um, click on whatever you want to remove and then click on it again to add something else and you can add the keyboard lock icon information about uh, the battery or memory all of those I already have out so I'm not going to get those um, you can also include an application from your start menu or a document which is actually any file of your device but as it is, I'm going to put. Oh, yeah. Fo you can add a contact on there. I'm just going to add an application. So I'm going to go back and find Opera again. There you go. Done. There you go. Now, there's no scrolling up and down this, which could be a possible improvement upon the next version of this. So just being able to add more and more tabs. Because as you can see down at the very bottom, it is trying to add more. Because whenever you complete a row of these, um, it does automatically add in another um, row of icons. Um, yeah. ah, there you go. Right. Um, the next thing I'll mention is that along with Resco Explorer 2010, it does include a plugin for the Explorer on your Windows desktop. So when you right click on a file, uh, you can send to mobile device. I know you can do that already, but. Um, Actually, having said that, I have no idea how Resco's 
plugin is any different from the one that's included by ActiveSync or um, Windows Mobile Device Center, but it's still something nice to have there. Um, and the third thing that I'll mention in this first part of the review is the Task Manager. Now, the, there's a link to it there. Uh, so I'm just going to start opening up a couple of apps. There's Notes, uh, Contacts. Ooh, I really hope you don't see any numbers there. Ooh, phew. Calculator. Um, and Calendar. Sure, why not? Uh, no appointments for today, although it's nearly 3 in the morning, but that doesn't matter. So, um, let's go back to that today screen. I have actually bound this to holding down the send key, but just for the sake of it, I'm going to tap there, and it brings this up. It's rather nippy, it, it comes quickly, and it looks good. Uh, if you click on the item, it'll bring that up, or uh, pressing the little cross closes it, as you might think. So let's close my contacts, because my friends will not want you seeing their numbers, and then if you click on close all, that'll do nothing, but if you um, press the little red icon next to it, it'll close all of them. Done. So let's open it again just to prove it. Yep, none of them there. And it'll tell me 81.9 meg of 190 meg available RAM. Now that cross up there closes the task manager. Um, so if I'm not on the today screen, uh, for example I have my notes up and I want to bring it up and I, I have it on that button there. There. Brilliant. Right, well that concludes the first section of this two-part Resco Explorer review. Um, I hope you check out the second half. This has been Chris Rollins. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.